Good Thursday morning, guys. Good morning. It is the last day of school for kindergarten. It's so weird to say. Um, today we're gonna finish up everything else that's in our packet. So last week or the week before, I had given you guys um the Ziploc bag full of stuff, and included in that was a black piece of construction paper that you guys have waited so patiently to use, and then four cotton balls. So we're going to use that this morning for our lost sheep. So you only need one of these. It has two different templates on it, but you only need one. And then you're going to cut on the black piece of paper, you're going to cut kind of a face shape and then two ears like this. I'm sorry, I did not um, attach these. I thought I did, but they're sitting on my desk. So this kind of shape on the black paper and then we're going to attach it this is the body and then this is the white part and this is where we're going to put the cotton balls i only give you guys four cotton balls and four cotton balls don't fit on here but here's what i want you guys to do if you kind of pull the cotton balls they um they kind of create more and that's why i only gave everyone four because i think we can definitely get by with four if we pull them apart like that and like i said you only need one template that's there's two on this page so we're going to make our little lost sheep um, craft. That's the first thing we're going to do. And I try to set this somewhere without knocking all my cotton balls down. And then for math, we have a couple of worksheets. We have um, this place value one. Uh, we're just counting how many tens. Or we're going to color how many tens we need and how many ones we need to make this number. We're going to cut and paste our tens and ones matching into here. Um, and then on the back of this one is something new. It's 10 less, okay, it's, we're gonna take this number and we're gonna dissect this number, okay? And this is really hard. So if they can't do this, please don't get frustrated. This is a first grade skill that we're just working on, okay? We're just trying to build. Um, so 24, we're gonna take 10 less, we're gonna take 10 more. Then we're gonna go back to 24 take one less and one more. So we're taking one from the tens place, adding one to the tens place. Taking one from the ones place and adding one to the ones place. And it is a really hard skill. Um, so if they don't get it, don't be discouraged at all. Um, and then we have this page that's just kind of reviewing our 10 frames, our number line, our number bond, our equation, our answer statement. This one's for subtraction though. It's gonna be a little different. So we're gonna draw a picture of 10 cheeseburgers. We're gonna cross off four of them because that's how many dad ate. And then how many cheeseburgers do we have left? So it's a little bit different. Still the same thing though. Four and six go over here because four and six, four and six together make 10. Um, number line, what I do is I go all the way to 10 um, and then I put X's all the way back down to six. Um, dads, if you are watching, please stop watching for a second. We do have kind of a Father's Day thing. This is the only thing I had that was easy, um, printable. Um, so we're gonna do this today for dads. And then we have our Friendship Pie craft, which is quite the big craft. So we have um, this Friendship Pie tin, or plate, pie plate which we're gonna cut, and then this kind of folds in half. I'm just gonna fold it in half and show you. So it folds in half um, after we cut it out, of course. And we're gonna put our recipe for friendship pie inside. Um, we're just gonna write ingredients on how to be a friend. What makes a good friend? Sharing, kindness, a loving heart, um, being nice, um, not, sharing secrets, stuff like that. So we're just gonna write those things on here. And then we're gonna put that inside of our pie, just the one recipe card. And then we have this pie topper that we're also gonna cut out. And this also folds in half, so we're not gonna cut right here. So we're gonna fold this in half. And this goes over the top, and that kind of seals our recipe card inside. Does that make sense? So we're gonna do that, our friendship pie craft. And then after I read enemy pie again, and then we have one 
last thing that Miss Heather likes to do on the last day of school. Um, and it's really hard for me to get through. I cry the entire time. Um, but the first day of school, we read the book, um, The Little Engine That Could. And we talked about perseverance. And we talked about how even when it's hard, that we can persevere and we can make it through life. And we got this. Um, and so Miss Heather today is going to read, I Knew You Could. And I'm going to read it right now um, for you kids that are not going to be with Miss Heather today. Um, because it means a lot to me that you guys get to hear it. And I don't want you to hear somebody else reading it. I Knew You Could, a book for all the stops in your life by Craig Dorfman, illustrated by Christina Ong. Let's get this over because there's two pages here. I knew you could, and you knew it too, that you'd come out on top after all you've been through. And from here, you'll go farther and see brand new sights. You'll face brand new hills that rise to brand new heights. I wish I could show you the stops that you'll visit, but that isn't my choice to make for you, is it? Instead, I can tell you some lessons and tales that I've learned and relearned in my time on the rails. First of all, you must find your own track so you can start right away and not be held back. But which track is yours? Well, that all depends on which way it's going and where it might end. Different tracks wind around, over, under, and through. So pick out the one that works best for you. Though the track you start out on will feel like the one, you might take a few more before you are done. And now with your eyes on your new destination, start up your wheels and roll out of the station. On your new trip, you'll make plenty of stops in river valleys and on high mountain tops. Some will surprise you and some will be planned and you'll roll through each one saying, I think I can. You'll go through tunnels surrounded by dark and you'll wish for a light or even a spark. You might get scared or a little bit sad, wondering if maybe your track has gone bad. So here's some advice to help ease your doubt. The track that you took in must also go out. So steady yourself and just keep on going. Before you know it, some light will be showing. And then you'll be out heading to a new place. You'll be ready for the next tunnel you face. Sometimes you'll look up and see planes in the sky and you'll think to yourself, I wish I could fly. The cars on the roads will seem quick and free. You'll feel stuck on your track and think, I wish that was me. But the plane might wish he could get out of the air, saying, I wish I could travel like the train down there. The cars will watch as you speed right along, and they'll say to each other, look how fast and how strong. Don't worry about being a car or a plane. Just enjoy the trip you'll take as a train. Don't be afraid to toot your own horn if you need to be heard or there are people to warn. Or if being yourself just makes you so proud that you want to share it and sing it out loud. You'll follow your track through twists and through bends and stop at new stops and pick up new friends.
They'll all come aboard with smiles and greetings. You'll have such great times with the people you're meeting. On the days when you're sad and feel you can't go, speak up and ask a friend for a toe. That's what friends do, so don't be afraid. You do the same if your friend needed aid. You might stop at some stops that you never have toured and look for new friends, but they won't come aboard. So you'll have to head out with a creak and a groan, setting out once again on your track all alone. Try to remember that the world is so wide, full of all kinds of people with their own trains to ride. Just stay true to yourself as you travel your track with no second guessing and no looking back. Once you're on the right track, you'll probably say, this one is mine, I'm here to stay. Try to enjoy the track that you choose. Stop now and take in the views. If you rush for it as a general rule, before you arrive, you can run out of fuel. Don't overwork, but save up some strength. That way every day you can travel great lengths. You'll need all that strength on the days when you're stuck or tired or sad or just out of luck. When you believe in yourself, doesn't feel quite so pure and your I think I can doesn't sound quite so sure. There's more about life that you'll learn as you go because figuring things out on your own helps you grow. Just trust in yourself and you'll climb every hill. Say, I think I can. And you know what? You will. <laughs>